Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about the House of Zoologists. I have a very, very exciting announcement, so please stay tuned till the end. You will not wanna miss what I have to say, I promise you. But first, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Maite, I review fragrances and products. I love all things that smell good. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel, hit the thumbs up, and click the little notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video every Monday and Wednesday at four. My dear husband gifted me a complete sample set from Zoologist for Mother's Day. Thank you to him. I absolutely loved this sample set. I had so much fun experiencing all these fragrances. There are amazing scent stories um, that go with all these scents. They're so creative. So some of them are so unique. Um, even the ones that weren't for me were still quite an experience. So you're definitely not gonna regret um, just checking these out and some of them you don't want to blind buy you guys so obviously get yourself some samples see which ones for you um, because there are some hidden gems in here for sure I'm gonna break this up into three categories just so it's more digestible I'll do the ones I love that I need and want full bottles of the ones that maybe for somebody else they would be nice but not for me and the ones that I didn't like at all that I wouldn't recommend because I just couldn't, um, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't get behind the smell. They maybe were too anomalic or whatever the case may be. Let's start off with the ones I didn't like. I'm not gonna get too much into the um, notes because there are a lot of listed notes and they're very complex. I'll just tell you what I smelled. So Dodo was very feathery. And if you know what a bird smells like, dodo smells like a bird it smells like maybe the bottom of a bird cage and dodo just wasn't for me moth so weird <laughs> a very weird fragrance a very weird floral um unique for sure if you want to stand out then definitely check out moth the dry down is actually very nice it's like a creamy vanilla but it's quite an odd scent um yeah, there's a lot of notes in here. Honey is one of them, iris and jasmine. So, you know, maybe I think somebody will love moth, but it was just a little bit too out there for me. Dragonfly. Hairspray. That's the first word that came to mind. I got hairspray from Dragonfly. Another kind of floral. There's a lot of aldehydes in here, which could be why, but um, not for me. M maybe worth checking out for somebody who likes more aldehylic uh, fragrances. Dragonfly. Hyrax. Mm, very anomalic. Very anomalic, you guys. Some of these, uh, these next three are pretty, pretty uh, anomalic. Um, there is Elemi in here. There's benzoid and sandalwood, and I think the whiskey maybe is the note that kind of throws me off, but it was just too, too musky for me. Uh, musky in like a very poop kind of way, if you know what I mean. Same thing with beaver. Beaver has that poopy vibe, kind of mixed with soapy water, if that makes sense. When beaver dries down, it actually is not too bad. But again, not what I want to smell like. Um, and I mean, beavers are very cute, but yeah, the, the smell is just, I mean, the stories that go with these, you guys, um, let me just, beaver invites you to slip away to a cozy family lodge. A tranquil river encloses the den in its rippling embrace as it glides beneath the blossoms of lush linden trees lining the banks. The breezy aroma of the green floral grove washes over you just before you duck inside to be welcomed by leathery hints of musky castorium as it mingles with the moist, woody note of freshly hewn timber. It strikes you just how sexy and dapper this perfume is, and you sink into it, letting yourself be enfolded in its surprising elegance. I loved reading all of these stories just, just, for the, just to read this is is worth getting this sample set seriously but yes unfortunately beaver wasn't for me sloth you guys now i think sloths are so cute and i really wanted to love sloth but sloth was pretty pretty musky smelled like bo on me um you know how slow sloths are and they're so slow that moss and like fungus grows on them 
And I think that's that funky vibe that I get. Um, there's a side berries in here. There's myrrh and mushroom and oak moss. So it's very earthy, but yes, it smells very kind of bio-ish to me. And I just, it was very funky, very funky. If you like funky fragrances, then you may enjoy sloth. This next set, um, they weren't bad. They just maybe weren't for me. Uh, maybe somebody else would enjoy them a little bit more, um, but they're actually, they're nice fragrances. There's nothing wrong with them. Uh, it's just not something that I would personally gravitate towards. Um, chameleon, like tropical fruits, kind of floral, very nice, pleasant, um, but nothing groundbreaking, which is, I think, what uh, happened with some of these is it wasn't anything, you know, that interesting to me that I would want a full bottle of. So, um, the, yeah, chameleon has a lot of nice notes like coconut. There's coconut in here. There's uh, frangipani. There's patchouli, sandalwood, vanilla, vetiver, mango, star fruit. So I love the note pregnant. Actually, you know, I would definitely recommend checking out chameleon if you like like those tropical fruity fragrances. Elephant, another very pleasant scent. Just wasn't for me. If you like green fragrances and tea like leaves and coconut. So there's coconut green leaves and tea in this one and it's it's quite unique but not for me i didn't um really gravitate towards it it wasn't something that like pulled me in um but maybe on somebody else i would maybe enjoy it more this one is elephant camel camel started out really nice for me but then it wasn't groundbreaking like it just kind of fizzled away so the opening was beautiful it was great a little bit musky which i enjoyed kind of exotic, also very nice. Um, there's dried fruit in here, frankincense, palm date, rose, there's civet, sandalwood, oud, tonka, vanilla, vetiver, amber, incense, orange blossom. So yeah, an amber fragrance, more on the exotic side. Very, very nice, just nothing um, that wowed me. So um, definitely check out Camel. I would say Camel may be a safe blind buy. It does have some muskiness to it, so just remember that. Um, that you have to kind of be into a little bit of musky fragrances. Most of these have some muskiness to it because of the, you know, animal vibes. So camel, civet. I really wanted civet because I thought maybe civet would be like a skanky floral, which I've been into lately. But civet was actually quite clean um, and tame. And yeah, just very a very nice floral. It smells almost like a dead floral bouquet, which I actually quite enjoyed, but I just wish there was a little bit more skank to it. I just want more skankiness. Um, there is carnation, heliotrope, balsam, civet, coffee, labdanum, oak moss, Russian leather, vanilla, uh, vetiver, and wood. So very beautiful. Nothing wrong with this one. I just, I wanted a little bit more skankiness. So that's civet. Nightingale. Nothing wrong with it except it gave me a headache. Heavy floral. It has like a classic vintage vibe and there's like a very powdery uh quality to it um it 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 it's uh kind of like that cosmetic um lipstick rose that's the word i'm trying to think of lipstick rose uh dry down um i think somebody would really really enjoy this one it just wasn't for me because it gave me a headache and that's nightingale next up and i'm so bummed to put this one in this category because i really wanted it tyrannosaurus rex is a beast you guys i love this smell but maybe necessarily not on me <laughs> it smells like fire and smoke and earth and just delicious to me because i'm probably a little bit of a pyro but uh if you love the smell of like matches like lighting a match and then like putting it out in that smell then you probably really love tyrannosaurus rex but it's something i love to smell but maybe I wouldn't necessarily want to smell like it if that makes sense so the next category are fragrances that i absolutely love that i want a bottle of that i need that i gotta have rhinoceros gorgeous leather leather and it has a very calming vibe to it um oddly enough it's not a beast it is actually very subdued um, and the leather in the beginning is almost like a clean leather uh, and then it becomes so rich and just like so much depth and almost creamy in the dry down it is gorgeous this one for sure is a hidden gem and absolutely i will get a bottle of rhinoceros 
Next up, hummingbird. And just like the little bird, hummingbird is a very like whimsical floral. It is a very different take on a floral. I think um, I, I love kind of like the, there's a little bit of darkness to it, but it's almost airy, if that makes sense. Um, there's apple, cherry, citrus, muguet, plum, rose, violet leaf, honey, honeysuckle, lilac, mimosa, peony, tulip, lang, amber, cream, coumarin, moss, sandalwood, white woods, and musk. I really, really love hummingbird. I think it's very, very um, sexy. It's a sexy floral. It does lean feminine in my opinion, but it is a beautiful fragrance, hummingbird. Next up, panda. I love panda. First of all, they're adorable. Second of all, it is probably my favorite fruity fragrance that I've smelled so far. Um, there is bamboo in here. It does have some muskiness in the beginning, but the dry down is very just like fruity and almost creamy and rich, very rich. Um, there is jasmine in here. There's sandalwood, vanilla, civet, musk. Yeah. Panda is another hidden gem, you guys. Um, definitely get yourself a sample. Next up, macaque. Um, and it's oddly enough, not very animalic at all. It's actually a very clean, calming, zen fragrance. There's tea in here. Um, there's green apple, there's honey, there is green tea, as well as jasmine tea, white oud, and musk. If I pictured what like a monk would smell like, it would be like macaque. Very, very nice fragrance. I really enjoyed wearing this one. Um, and like I said, very calming macaque. B, delicious, divine, dripping in honey. Um, it just, it's very sexy and edible. It's edible. If you put it on some, you're gonna smell like a snack for sure. Um, there's so much just from the honeycomb to the pollen to the little fuzzy bee, like you smell everything. It's just a whole entire vibe. I need some bee in my life for sure. Coming up to the last two, uh, Bat. Now, Bat, this is the new formulation, the 2020. So I'll just talk about this one since this is the only one available from Zoologist. Um, the old formulation focused more on like that dirty, earthy kind of cave, damp cave quality, where the new formulation is more about the fruity, like those overripe fruits, um, like the banana. It's I don't even know if there's banana in here. There's fig, passion fruit, pink guava, solar cord, hay, incense, minerals, night blooming jasmine, animalic notes, leather, mossy stones, teak, wood, and vetiver. Um, yeah, very unique. I think it's a lot more wearable maybe than the original. I actually prefer the original, you guys, but I like my scents very dirty, dark, earthy. Um, but this one, if the original is a little too challenging, then definitely check out the new formulation of bats because it is, it, it's beautiful. It really is beautiful. At least squid. Now I have a bottle of squid. I was lucky enough, um, to come across a partial bottle to add to my collection. I'm very grateful for that. Beautiful scent brings back so many scent memories of going to the Miami Sea Crane with my parents and my little brother. Um, they have this this like plastic mold machine, like this moldorama machine that used to um, mold together little figurines of the sea animals, like the whale and the dolphins. Um, and the smell of that hot plastic as the machine was creating the mold mixed with the smell in the air, uh, um, which was like brine and salty and kind of not not fishy it wasn't fishy but it was like that salty briny like sea air if you know what i mean that is the in this bottle like that that very oceanic um not aquatic but it's like murky water and there's ink there's an ink note which is so unique and it's not sharp or you know um too aggressive it's very smooth there's amber grease in here so that's where the saltiness comes from just beautiful squid is just beautiful definitely um on my top list i'm so glad i was able to add a bottle to my collection really love this one that's squid okay you guys so the time has come my announcement i am so excited first of all thank you to everybody who loves my content who supports me who has followed and subscribed and, all, and who comments like it means so much to me um, I'm coming up to a thousand subscribers on here on YouTube and I have just crossed 2000 on 
Instagram and I was trying to think what I could do for you guys because I want to do something for you to thank you. So I reached out to um, Victor at Zoologist and he agreed to send one of you a complete sample set like the one I just showed of Zoologist. So you will get to experience the whole zoo. One of you will win one of these sets. Now, how to enter is on my Instagram page, you guys. So you have to go to my Instagram page to enter. Um, I will link my page in the description. So please be sure to go over there. Um, don't forget, subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and ring the little notification so you can be notified every time I upload a video every Monday and Wednesday at four. I thank you guys so much for watching. I'm very excited about this. Don't forget to go to my Instagram. I hope you guys have a great, great week. Mwah.